If you give it long enough, the cache and cookies, both in your web browser like Safari or Chrome, as well as apps themselves, start to grow to a huge proportion of your storage on your iPhone. I'm gonna show you how to clear those. To do this, we're gonna head into your settings here. So open up the settings app on your iPhone. After you've opened up those settings apps, we're gonna scroll down to the very bottom and you'll see apps at the bottom. We're gonna get to your Safari settings. So tap on apps. And now you'll just need to scroll down until you find Safari. So scroll down until you find the S section and then tap on Safari, there it is. Now it's fairly easy to do this within Safari. All you need to do is scroll down towards the bottom and you'll be able to see at the very bottom is clear history and website data. This is one option, you can tap on that and it says clear your time frame. you can choose all history, you can choose all profiles and choose to close out all of the tabs. Now you can choose basically just to do it for the last hour or today and you can hit clear history at the very bottom. However, there's another cool feature to do this as well. At the very bottom, you can tap on advanced as well. Now on here, you can see at the very top is your website data. This specifically shows you all of the cached files and cookies for any websites that you have visited. And you can see the largest one on here is Google and then a bunch of other ones as well. On any of these different ones, I can hit remove all website data at the very bottom, or I can choose one specific one here and swipe to the left and hit delete if you wanted to remove it for that specific app or that specific website rather. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is go back to the very beginning of your settings because I also wanna show you how to remove that cache and temporary files from apps. So once you're on the beginning part of your settings, you're gonna, at the very bottom, tap on the general option. Now, from here, you can see iPhone storage midway down, just tap on that. This will show you every single app that's downloaded onto your phone. You can remove the cache or temporary files on any of these just by tapping on it and hitting the offload button. You'll be able to see that it reduces the size significantly when I hit the reinstall. So essentially I'm offloading it and then reinstalling a fresh new copy and you can see it goes from 2.2 gigabytes and it will substantially decrease the size of that associated with clearing out all of the cache and temporary files for that app. So once you can see it is downloading and installing a fresh new version of here, you'll be able to see I can go back into TikTok or CapCut rather and now it is 1.7 gigabytes instead of over two gigabytes.